Hello everybody, Demon Rabbit here, and um, I'm doing a new bit of a video here, which is um, I've already done like a guide video of like being on the racing line and stuff like that. Um, and what I usually do in my longer videos is I also show what to do um, if you're off the racing line, whether it be you're defending or you've ended up out of position. Um, but on the shorter videos, obviously I've, I've not done that. <clears throat> I've just shown like how to take the fastest line uh, around the track. Um, so what I'm going to try doing here is doing basically a similar version, short, sharp, rightly style instructions uh, around the track, but for being offline um, in each corner, whether that be because you are defending or because you are side by side with somebody. Um, what I will say is, for combination of corners, or combination corners, um, like the fast corners that are behind me, um, you always have to try and leave room for someone, so if you are on the inside of a car, um, into the next corner, which goes the opposite direction, they're going to be on the inside, so you've got to give them room. And there's a couple of uh, simple rules that we try and work to here, which is... Um, to always leave space for the car that would be next to you so if you're on the inside on the way in of the corner you've got to be prepared for that person to be on the outside of you on the exit of the corner um, so anyway I will try and do this with the rally style instructions um, but bear in mind you may have to break a little bit earlier than the normal braking points but a simple rule of thumb is stay on the brakes a little bit longer and use a lower gear one lower gear than the normal racing line um, instructions but anyway let's go see how we get on okay so for turn one it's going to be brake alongside the start of the curb on the right but it's going to be brake really heavy for a two left and keep that inside line and leave the space on the exit of the corner okay here it's going to be break a little harder for a three right do not run wide because there'll be a car there and then you flat through the left okay break at the gantry or between the gantry and the curb for a two right and again leaving room on the left hand side down here is tricky I would always recommend don't go side by side down here but if you are lift off early gentle brakes and then really hard on those brakes once you straight if you get that wrong also two left here if you get that wrong the car will snake sideways on you if you do not lift off early it will snake on you and you'll crash okay lift off at the start of the curb on the left you can hold fifth gear but you have to stay off the throttle longer. I mean, I know I was on the throttle, but can't go full throttle early. Big lift here. Instead of a little lift, down for a five right. If you don't do the five right, you run wide. Brake before the kerb for a two right. And I'm actually just going to stop here. Because if you are on the inside down, there's a car on the outside of you. This next corner is an anomaly. The racing line is actually all the way around the inside of the next corner. You do not want to be on the right-hand side at any point. Um, so for this corner, you're more likely to end up on the outside. You don't want to be there. So brake at the marshal's hut for a two left and be off the throttle. There's no grip out here. But once you onto the main part of the track, you can start pushing again. Okay, into the long, fast right-hander. I'm going to lift off, dab a brake at the 50 for a 5 right. But I'm going to have to stay off the throttle longer. I can't go full throttle yet, because if I do, I'll run wide, and I've got to leave a car's width. Okay, up here, it's a big lift off for a 6 left. To stay left, dab of brake to leave the space make the curve and we can go flat out then okay lift off and touch a brake for a four right but again we can't get on the throttle too soon because if we do we can't leave space on the left of us 
for a car that would be there. Okay, so let's go through that again. So braking, start of the curve, brake heavy for a two left hairpin. This one is a brake heavier than gentle for a three right, leave room. Brake between the gantry and the start of the curve for two right hairpin. It's a brake heavy there. Patience on exit. Okay, I'll show this line again. I would not recommend doing it. Lift off way before the curb. And see how my car's snake in there? That's because I was having to get on the brakes quite heavy because I didn't lift off soon enough. I will do one more lap as well where I'll show what to do on the right hand side in that corner. Okay, lift off, dab a brake at the end of the curb. It's still a five right, but I can't get back on the throttle to speed up out of the corner until the end of the curb on the right. Okay, if you're up the inside, big lift. Drop a gear for five right, it allows you to turn. Break between the white and the curb for tight two hairpin. Leave space on exit. Break at the marshal's post. There's no grip out here. But once you've got around the first part, you can carry around the outside. Okay, lift and dab a brake, 50 metres, five right. But we've got to wait, wait, wait. I can feather my throttle, but I can't go full throttle until quite late around the corner. So again, down here, lift off with six. Leave the space, you'll have to dab the brake. Once I'm in this position though, you can go full throttle and still leave the space on the exit. Dab a brake at the 50 for a four right, but I can't power until very late on the corner, otherwise we can't leave the space. Okay. I'm going to show you what to do if somebody is up the inside of you. So you break at the normal point for the normal guide. Still a three left, but you just don't turn in. Can't get on the throttle as soon because we're wider on the track. If someone's up the inside of you here, break at the normal point, but you'll need a three right because you're going to be off the racing line. Up here, it's a similar thing, break before the curb. And if someone's up the inside of you, you're probably going to need two right because there's no grip out here. If someone's up the, on the left of you down here, you are going to have to slow down more than normal to make sure to lift before the curb, slow down to give them the space here and to be able to hold the line all the way around the exit of the corner. So if you do find yourself side by side there, it takes both drivers to take the corner slowly. Okay, if someone's up the inside of you here, that's fine. You can give them space all the way around the outside. Or if you just tuck in behind them, you can actually do a bit of a switch back on them there. If you're side by side here, again, you will need a big lift on the outside and a drop to five on the right hander to give them the space. Braking for the hairpin is the same, and you can hold a three for the right-hander. And if they're on the right of you here, that's fine, because you stick to your normal racing line. Just come out of the corner, leaving a bit of space on the exit. Again, with this long right-hander, we approach it and enter it normally with the wider line, but we just leave the car hanging out wide a bit. And we can actually get on the throttle nice and early there. The switchback is also available. Okay, here, if they're on the inside of you, you're going to need a big lift and a dabber brake and a down to five in that right. Otherwise, you will not make the next corner. Brake at the normal racing point. You're still going to need a four right. And just wait a little bit on the power. It's not that different to normal in that corner. You basically just don't go all the way to the apex. So anyway, hopefully though, I've been able to show there the different ways of um, managing to get around the circuit. Uh, one of the things that I've 
mention to a lot of people when learning about being off the racing line is if you watch my guide video of being on the racing line and like my like the better guide that I can do um, that's kind of like the optimal you want to be on the racing line braking at this point and so on if you're in a different situation it's handy to know what to do and a general rule of thumb is um, go down the extra gear and make sure you're giving space to a car that's next to you so on the way in you give room to them and on the way out you give room to them and if that means you have to slow down more by staying on the brakes longer and waiting longer in a corner and using the extra gear down that's the way to do it there are certain sections though like the downhill into the hairpin and the fast left right left right where if you are side by side it takes both drivers to take action to avoid contact um, because by being side by side there if one driver takes action and the other doesn't crash if the first driver doesn't take action and the other one does there'll be a crash it takes both drivers to take action anyway let me know what you think about uh, this video and whether it's helpful or not have a good one